Greetings, goons, wizards, and warriors. It's your boy, the Goods Tonight. Today we're doing a review on the Cry Field Shell 2. 2. Yeah, not 2.0, just 2. So it's their soft shell jacket. I picked this one up over a year ago, actually. Because when the jacket got here, about two days later, it immediately got relatively warm. So I think it's a warrant for a terribly long time. But I was interested in it, but being insanely hot, and uh, because I kind of enjoy being alive, I decided not to wear it during the summer. Well, except for a few times, because of the rain, because this thing is incredibly water resistant. Which is interesting, because if it's raining, this is a great way to keep all the rain off your body, even more so than a Gore-Tex. However, unlike a Gore-Tex, there is no hood. There is no hood here, so your head's going to get wet. Sorry, that's just the way it is. Um, unless you want to get a cool, like, rain bucket hat going on. Um, head's going to get wet. Sorry, that's all there is to it. So, how water resistant is this jacket? Obviously, um... Well, not obviously, but it's probably the key feature that I enjoy most about this jacket. So I went ahead and I grabbed a bucket and I grabbed a partially full glass of water just because I wasn't going to go to the sink and do this in two parts because I can just pour this. Um, this should be all right. Yeah. All right. Cool. Yeah. Pour that on there. You guys see that? Yeah. Check this out. Shabam. Whoa. Oh, that's on the floor. Uh oh. Uh oh. But yeah, look at that. It's all gone. So you might be wondering, how does the Cry Field Shell manage to shed water so well? And the answer is, I have no idea. It's magic. It's science or something. You can go ask those nerds in the white lab coats. They can tell you. I cannot. All I can tell you is, it's dry. And that's really cool. So <laughs> yeah, so water. It also keeps like wind out relatively well. So it's a cool jacket. It's a nice little... Um, it's designed sort of like a mid-level, a mid jacket. So you can put your freaking fleece underneath all this, and it's going to get very, very warm. Then you can throw any, like, heavier jacket over top of this, and it's going to get even warmer. So if there's, like, snow, which is, I think, I haven't seen in a couple of years, or, like, insanely cold weather stuff going on, that's going to go a long way in keeping you warm. Now, as it is right now, I've got a short sleeve shirt under it, my classic Velocity Systems little uh, Boss Rugby shirt that I enjoy very much, which is really breathable in a... Jacket designs to keep in warmth and keep out water. So, yeah, um, you got the cool little morale fabric patches on the side. So, you got the zippers, and all I got in here is like a little notebook. There's a pen in there somewhere, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you want to keep your ride in the rain stuff, you can keep your waterproof riding utensils inside your waterproof jacket, and bam, you're twice as waterproof. Isn't that cool? Of course, on the left side, we don't have anything interesting. Just a patch on there. But yeah, these are decent little shoulder pockets if you want to carry note-taking equipment or your wallet or anything crazy like that. You've also got two pockets up here on the front. You can put your hands in. There's a little uh, mesh in there. And the mesh holds your stuff as well as gives you a little bit of room. So when this is open, you actually get some wind flow going on between you and the outside world. So I was going to leave these down. It's getting a little warm in this room with the door closed. So yeah, that's cool. We're going to be looking at more of the interior stuff here. And of course, you've got the zipper pockets on the arms. I'm going to do a quick demonstration there. There's my short sleeve shirt. And this is really good because if you are out in the cold, wearing your plate carrier and all your gear, and you're doing a little walk, nothing too crazy, standing around, jacket's keeping you warm. Oh no, some crazy stuff's going on. You got to make a mad dash for cover. You get into cover, you're sprinting, <sighs> you're burnt out, and all of a sudden you feel all that heat building up in your jacket, and you're starting to overheat in a cold environment. But you've got your plate carrier on. It's, not, it's an interactive story. Play along. Please, uh, everyone at home, put on your plate carrier. If you're watching along at home, please uh, activate your plate carrier. So you throw on your plate carrier. You got your plate carrier on. We're in all this heavy gear out in the snow or snow equivalent. Maybe you're just in a really big refreezer. Re re so throw that on there. Shabam. Got your plate carrier on. And you're running, oh my god, things are happening, ah, so you get to cover, you're starting to overheat, all this heat building up, you feel it, the armpits are one of the key heat areas, you go, oh no, I can't unzip my jacket, the heat's going to destroy me long before enemy fire, so what do you do? Well, you have a few minutes without any movement going on, so you zip down these guys here, they zip down from, it's relatively close to the forearm, over the elbow, so you pop those guys open, and you dispense heat, you're basically ventilating. So, you know, as the cold air is starting to enter and you're starting to cool back down, you can keep fighting, pop, 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 okay, call in your radio stuff, do some more maneuvering, 
And okay, cool. The enemy, they freaking, they decide to piss off. They're done being a menace to society. And you go, okay, cool. Calm down. All right, cool. Adrenaline's dropping. All of a sudden, you're noticing it's not just the adrenaline. Your body temperature's dropping. No, no. What are you going to do? You're going to reach in there. You're going to grab that zipper. You put him right back up. And shabam. You are once again immune to the uh, cold elements. Allegedly. I'm not actually a uh, cold weather specialist. I like grew up in a desert, so it was only cold at night when there's no clouds. But for the most part, yeah. Well, it snowed a couple times, I guess. But, you know, nothing too crazy. So, yeah, you can wear your plate carrier. You got the perfect zipper location here. And the zippers are incredibly smooth. This was something, uh, generally with my Gore-Tex, that I do enjoy, which I was using for rain weather because it's got a hood. And it works for the most part until you're on the rain for too long. It starts getting through the, uh, the snow protective layers. So, um, you know, with the Gore-Tex, you'll eventually start getting wet. But if you are getting way too hot while wearing the Gore-Tex, and a Gore-Tex is also really bulky, so not really designed to have a plate carrier thrown over it as comfortably as this guy, then you go for those arm zippers, and they always get caught up on themselves somewhere, and you're doing this motion, you're like, come on, I just want to vent. But these guys, not a single problem. As long as you remember to, like, hold the sleeve. If you don't, like, hold the sleeve, and you're just kind of, like, having at it, you're going to get that snag. But watch when you're, like, when you're a kid, and you got the long sleeve, I guess adults do it too, you got the long sleeve shirt, and you got to put a jacket on over, you grab that freaking cuff, no problem. Whoosh! knowledge. Oh, yeah, also the cuff's got that little, there's a little inner cuff thing going on here too, so it uh, helps keep all your heat in instead of letting it get out with the cool. And you can wear gloves under there, all your cool stuff. We got, we got cold weather gloves for those three weeks of cold weather we're going to have. Pretty exciting. Um, we haven't done the review on this yet, but we got our little the warm guy we're going to put down here and we're all going to have a good time. This is more than one way to keep your hands warm. It's actually starting to get a little warm right now, so I think the, uh, must have been three weeks already. Oh no. So yeah, that's cool. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the plate carry off here real quick. And we're going to do it the smart way for once, because I want to like put my, take my hat off again. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. So yeah, we're taking a good look at the back. It's relatively nicely tapered. It goes a little bit over the, uh, over the bottom. That'll keep you here if you sit down. You have a little bit of protection. Keeps the rain from getting into your the back of your pants or shorts or whatever you happen to be wearing. Zipper again, really well done. It's got the... Zipper's got the little cry tape on it. These ones just got the, uh, these little classy wraps here and these guys too on the sleeves. So you only got the cry tape there and I think there's, um... Is the cry tape on there? No, it's gotta be on like a pocket or something. I don't know. Anyway, it's on the zipper. That's the important part. Whew, getting a little toasty. So, pop this guy off and take a look on the inside. Of course, you got more cry tape right there on the collar. You got the little cry print, field shell two, and medium. Naturally, medium, best size. Generally, can't go wrong unless you're buying a uh, freaking AVS plate carrier. Then you're generally gonna want to go medium plate bag, small uh, cover bun and stuff, small harness because for whatever reason those are monolithic, but the jackets are a perfect perfect fit. So. Um, yes, yeah, so we still got our pockets. You can actually kind of see the outline of where they stitched the pocket closed on the outside. And if you take a look on the inside here, you can see here is the mesh pocket I was talking about earlier. Do -do 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 -do. So our hand gun go in there, and you notice it also comes up on the top, and there's nothing going on up there. So if you are interested, there is a second little internal pocket that's got a wet wipe in it. Huh, what did you know? I forgot I put that in there. <laughs> but yeah, you got your little pockets in there. Why do you have these pockets? Not just for that. But there's also your little adjustment cord, so you can get that waist thing going on so it's nice and tight in the waist, so you're not laying air in from the bottom either. And yeah, yeah, it's basically just rinse and repeat on the other side. Oh, there's the cry tape. I knew it was on the jacket somewhere. Oh, yeah, right down there. Mystery solved. Authentic. And yeah, so I don't think we can... They can kind of like see our hand through the pocket too. So, that's neat, and of course... You got this little fleece up here on the neck area to help keep your neck comfortable from all the nonsensical material you'd find otherwise. Now, what is the interior made of? I have no idea, actually. I guess we could find out right here. Um, shell, 100% nylon. Fill, 90% polyester. 10% acrylic. Sleeves, 93% nylon. 7% spandex. Hot. Hand wash or machine wash. No go of 140. Uh, Cry Precision, Brooklyn, New York, made in the USA. Very compliant! Yay! 
So yeah, that's um, basically the entire jacket. They come in all sorts of cool colors. Well, kind of. I think it's like multi-color and ranger green. They might have black. I don't know. I can't remember. But they do come in cool colors, and they are relatively comfortable. You can wear fleece under them to get really, really warm. And the zipper pockets for venting out is kind of my favorite thing, because every time I've tried to wear jackets, it's always been like throwing on a hoodie, and then you're out and about, and it's like, oh, it's way too hot. Dress in layers, so you gotta take off one layer, but if you're wearing play carriers and other gear, then you gotta take the gear off, you gotta move gear around. And honestly, the ability to just pull down to uh, armpit zippers, just vent all that wonderful body odor out into the world, and uh, not die uh, freaking heat exhaustion in the Arctic. Just people freaking dying of hypothermia out here in a tropical island. It happens. That happens in Florida, I think, for the most. But yeah, so. Cool jackets, and I like Ranger Green. I don't know. I mean, I like Ranger Green, but I like brown plate carriers and armor and stuff. But Ranger Green clothing, freaking fantastic. I don't think I've seen these in Coyote Brown. If they made one of these in Coyote Brown, I'd probably have to buy it just for uh, aesthetic purposes. It is really, really cool. Oh, yeah, that's right on the, uh, that's actually on the left side. The uh, little shoulder part. It's not dead center because it's got stitching down there. But yeah, they got really cool, sort of like athletic, semi stretchy fit to all this. So, yeah, so. Really, I just wanted to pour water on it and show you guys how that works. And uh, I'm going to go uh, clean that water off the floor before it like, gets into the wood and causes problems. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, black is powder, red is earth. Uh, Station Loris. Um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to leave them down in a comment. However, it is easiest to reach me on Instagram and Twitter. So feel free to like shoot up those questions. I do like answering them to the best of my ability. I do like doing, uh, if you have like, any like, super crazy requests, that sounds really interesting, I'll probably actually do it, so. It's one of the uh, cool perks of having a smaller channel, is it doesn't get flooded out in a ton of other comments, so. Makes it a bit easier to keep track of. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Um, actually, I could probably take a closer look at this sleeve, yeah, you can see. Uh, that material, I just got that extra little cuff in there, which just makes it that much more comfortable. However, if you're wearing a watch, I didn't mention this, because I'm always wearing my watch. And when you're wearing the watch in this guy, and you want to look at the time, that little sleeve does get caught up on the watch. So you got to give this little tug outwards, and then pull down to look at your watch. I've got mine on my wrist for the most part. Or over this way, if you like it that way. Personal preference and all that. So, that's all I got for you guys. Um, if you're trying to stay warm this winter, and you want something that keeps the water and snow out without having to wear a whole Gore-Tex, then uh, this is a cool little jacket, because it's really all core temperature anyway. And legs, legs are going to be alright. Arms, they'll probably be okay. you got to keep those freaking lungs and stuff nice and warm. Otherwise, you'll get a runny nose. And uh, runny noses suck. I've had one for the last two days. Because I need to uh, need to have more blankets or something. I don't know. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, cheers. Stay chill for us. Um, and uh, dare not to do drugs. Bye, everyone. See ya.